Oktoberfest has started at Six Flags. Actually, it's called Beer Fest. But of course, it's central is in Sanger Fest Hall area, which is great because then you can go in there to eat your hot, greasy meats inside the air conditioning. And here's several of the booths. Of course, they don't extend all the way down like the food festival because there's going to be a scare zone down there. This year, they have a booth with apparel. There is a later hosen t-shirt. That is hilarious. Oh, yeah. I'm on my worst behavior. I don't give a schnitzel. And then they have these beer steins that say Six Flags. That's pretty cool. So, Chris is using one of our sporks. Stab it with the other spork. We always have sporks at the theme parks, so here we are having the bacon wrapped rot burst. Splitting it by spork. Are you going to see what it tastes like? Mmm, it's good. It has a maple flavor. I'm oh, nice. That's from the bacon. Oh, okay, cool. It's good. Yay. There are only three food booths this year, but they're all in the Sanger Fest area, so you can bring your food in the AC of Spasberg and then, you know, conveniently get something to drink. Here are the things available from the different booths. That little bacon wrap brought burst. That was a pleasant surprise. Here's the kielbasa Polish sausage on a pretzel bun. The bun tastes good, but it's a little bit tough and it stuck to my teeth. It would have been a little better with the mustard, but Chris doesn't want mustard on it. Yeah, the pretzel sausage was good, but the bread's a little tough. It does get stuck in your teeth. Now we're trying German meatball. Yeah, the meatball's fine. It's just kind of cold. The sauce is pretty good. So the German meatball, it actually does taste good. It, it doesn't taste super fresh. And Chris is right, the, the cream, it doesn't really make me think Germany. It's more like an Alfredo sauce. It's lukewarm. I would give it like a three. It's, it's edible, but I wouldn't go out of my way. But that sausage on the pretzel bun, I like that one. So the menu says it's a white wine caper sauce. So I think that's like, the caper must be that little extra tangy taste I'm getting. Kind of almost thinking about making it a two. I lived in Germany for four years of my adult life. These are okay, but they're definitely not German. the beer cheese spatzel, but this is not spatzel. It's noodles, I'm sure, it's probably fine. And this is the Saubraten with mashed potatoes. And then we're topping that off with the German, German chocolate cake. Chris's favorite and only kind of chocolate cake that he will eat. Chris is finishing up, Chris is finishing up the beer cheese spatzel, not spatzel. It was fine. We ate it all. Yeah, it was good. It was good. It tastes like beer. It was not spatial, but it was good. And then we ate all of the sauerkraut and mashed potatoes. The pork was really soft. Also, it was good. I mean, that was actually good. Like, if I went to somebody's house and they served me that, I would be like, this is fine. Spork, indispensable. And now for the cake. Get some without making a mess Chris is going in for the German chocolate cake. Now, without making a mess he on is... No, it's all good. It's, oh, good. And 
he actually, that's his favorite kind of cake, so. It tastes like it came from a bakery instead of a frozen fridge. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Yay. This cake is pretty good. Like, it does not taste freezer cake at all. And the frosting is fudgy. And I'm about to try the coconut part. The weird thing is Chris does not like chocolate in dessert. He also does not like coconut, but this is his favorite cake. Potato pancakes with applesauce and sour cream. I'm in the dark. It's like a herby little McDonald's hash brown. Chris is drinking the applesauce. Whoa! Shot, shot, like shot. shot. Applesauce. <laughs> shot, shot, shot. <laughs> and your super bad hat. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot what it was called though. It was a German word. I can't read. It's good. It kind of tastes like a Pilsner. Apologize for not knowing exactly what it is, but cute stein. So today we got the refill in the plastic signs, refill mug. The signs all say ten or all say nine ninety nine for refill, and she's like ten ninety nine, and she said it was tax. She seems confused. At first she said not cider, then she said yes cider. But anyway, we wound up with the cider for $10.99 after tax, I guess. It's fine, it's carbonated and cold, but it has just a slight vinegar taste to it. Pretty good. Yeah. It tastes like a rose wine. Oh. Like a cheap rose wine you buy in a box. Ah. <laughs> and that's what it tastes like. Just cheap. bubbly. Yeah. Oh, okay. I wouldn't get it again. It's kind of watered down too. Oh, okay. A pretty good beer fest this year. Not as many booths, but consistently the food in the booths is better than the year-round restaurants and the walk-up stands. We really, especially best of the beer fest, I think, is that bacon wrap brought. Right, Chris, you like that one the best. Yeah, that came out really good. Yeah, like, and the German chocolate cake. That was a nice surprise. Yeah. 
that the, the Beerstein deal seemed to work with a little bit of difficulty. So, you know, I guess if you drink a lot of beer, that would be worthwhile. So stay tuned and we'll be going to Fright Fest. <laughs>